On a day when Newcastle signed three young stars. Hello everybody, welcome to Newcastle Fans TV. Um, we've signed Yosef Yoni, we've signed Stefan O'Connor and we've signed Juanito Lopez as well. So we're going to begin with all three of them. We'll look at a quick statement by the club in a minute. And we've also got some young stars who've signed professional deals as well. And also we've upgraded with equipment. So let's begin with the signers first of all. So let's begin with Yosef Yoni, the uh, scouser who uh, brought up Rays in Liverpool, uh, Everton. He's just recently left them as a free agent, a defender. Comfortable on the ball, he made three appearances for Everton last season in the EFL Trophy, which is now rebranded as the Checker Trade Trophy, you know. He's actually played for Newcastle, believe it or not. Yes, he has. He's played for us in April, where he come on as a substitute when Newcastle won 2-0 against Middlesbrough. So Peter Beatty was just having a look at him, and obviously the club have then decided to go on and, and purchase, well, when I say purchase, sign him, sign him on fees and so on. So good news, another one in through the door, youngster, because to be honest with you, we're not getting many Geordies breaking through because is the talent in Newcastle not great? When was the last Geordie come through? Paul Dummett, Adam Armstrong, is he going to break through? Um, moving on anyways, uh, more positive news. Stefan O'Connor has joined, you know. He's come as another free agent from Arsenal, a man mountain built, you know. He can play a centre-back, he can fill in at right back, but he's more predominantly a centre-back, you know. He's only made the one appearance for Arsenal where it was against uh, Galatasaray where they won 4-1. He's also got a couple of under-17 caps as well. So he'll obviously go into Peter Beazzi's side expecting to compete against the likes of Owen Bailey, Stuart Finley for that centre-back role, you know. So great news. Um, we'll move on to uh, Juanito Lopez. Now this one hasn't been branded about on social media because actually the deal was done late last year, in late November it was. So he's signed officially now because we've got international clearance. Quite similar to Tyreek Bartlett, the other striker who we've signed as well. So he, both of them, including Juanito and Bartlett, will go into the under-23 side. Now, when he did sign, he was actually pictured at St. James's Park. He was pictured around the city centre, including the back page shop as well. There was pictures of him taken in there. And we thought, oh, he's going to sign in January, but nothing to be heard. Uh, but he's over the line. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, all three players I don't know much about. The most I know is Stefan O'Connor. haven't seen him briefly, but it's good news. I think it's really, really good news that we've got three young stars, four if we include Tyreek Bartlett, into the under-23 setup, and we've got two first-teamers as well. Let's get a quick statement of what Newcastle said about the two. Newcastle United have completed the signing of young duo Stefan, Stefan O'Connor and Yosef Yoni. O'Connor 20 and Yoni 19 have both put pen and paper and contracts at St James's Park and will link up with Peter Beasley and Ben Dowson's under 23 squad. Meanwhile, United have received international clearance for fellow youngsters Juanito and Tyreek Bartlett. So the future very, very bright for Newcastle. Now, speaking of youngsters, We've actually got four or five youngsters have actually signed professional deals slash extensions. So we'll have the likes of Paul Wollstone, uh, Nathan Harker, Owen Bealey, Mackenzie Heaney, Sean Longstaff have all signed extensions slash professional deals and probably there'll be a couple of more which hasn't been announced officially yet as well. So the under 23s is looking really, really promising at the moment, you know, Rafa coming, mixing it all up, you know, bringing in from other talents from across the, uh, Europe and England. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get another Jordy come through because we're waiting for Adam Armstrong to burst, you know. Um, just coming off Newcastle Day, quickly, just a quick note on the channel. You might have seen that this video is in much more better resolution, better camera. Now, this camera that I'm using at the moment is actually 4K, but this is filming in 1080. So we're going to be trialing 4K shortly. I've also tracked myself to MacBook Pro. Uh, Will's also got himself a MacBook as well, so he's going to be editing his own videos, thank God. So we'll hopefully get uh, much more better quality as the Premier League season comes on because we like to upgrade and give you better experience as well. And also just coming off the topic as well, my girl, Tony Duggan, uh, she signed me an England shirt, as many as already know, signed to me. Uh, she's actually got a dream move to Barcelona, one of the biggest sides in women's football. I'm absolutely thrilled for her. She, uh, she'll go over there for, I think it's a couple of year contract. Um, she also sent me in England, and uh, not in England, and when she was in Man City to, to Lille, all the best wishes, Tony Duggan. She sent me that as well. So, Tony, all the best with your move as well. Right then, so back to Newcastle. Get your comments down there below. I want to know what you think about all these youngsters. Say you later. Bye-bye.